Photo Story 3 for Windows Screen. The first thing to understand about Photo Story is that it is a wizard program. And what that simply means is that you're presented with a series of screens that at the bottom have back and next buttons. At any time during the creation of a show, you can go backwards and forwards to make changes. So if you forget something, if you forget a picture, if you forget to do a transition, you can always go backwards, do it, and then head again forward. And that's, that's one thing that's kind of nice about wizard programs. The second thing is we need to learn a little bit of terminology. Photo Story 3 calls your slideshow a story. It's called a story. So what you're creating here is a story. As you create the story, you are basically editing or working on a project file. Now, the thing to keep in mind is the project that you're working on, which includes all of the transitions and your pictures and all that type of thing, and, and that you're actually working on as you work through this wizard, is not what you're going to be giving other people. The project file is simply the file that you're editing to create what you'll give other people. What you're going to give everybody is the story file. And the story file will be in the form of a video file that you create at the very end of the process. And we'll see that on the last screen that we head into in this tutorial. So what we're going to basically do on this first screen is we've got three choices. We can either begin a new story, we can edit an existing project, or we can play a story. And of course what we're going to do in this case is we're going to begin a new story. Let's go ahead and click on the next button here. Now the first real functional screen that you're going to get to has you import and arrange your pictures. You can see that that's the title of it up here. To import your pictures you're going to come down to this big import pictures button and click on it. This brings us to the first, um, I guess you might call it stumbling block, uh, for a lot of people and that is, is that in order to pull your pictures into a story and create them create a story you have to know where they are and you know we can kinda laugh about that but you'd be surprised at how many people are not real comfortable with this concept of file and folders and therefore where their pictures are located but that's something that of course very important now we're not going to talk about that in this particular tutorial we have other tutorials up on our discover skills website that talk about organizing your files and folders but the one thing i will say is that when you get ready to create a show what i think is always uh, a little bit easier or makes it a little bit easier to, uh, in creating the show is if you take all the different pictures you want to put into the show and put them into a single folder that you work from. I just think it helps keep you a little bit more organized as you create your show and makes things a little bit easier. And that's exactly what I've done in this case. What we're going to do is we're going to the My Documents folder. Underneath it is a folder called My Pictures and you probably have these on your computers as well. For Windows XP users, you have a My Documents folder with a My Pictures underneath it. For Vista and Windows 7 users, you probably have some type of a user folder that underneath it has My Documents and My Pictures separately. Or perhaps the folder is just called Pictures. In either case, this folder that has our pictures in it, My Pictures or simply Pictures, is where we're going to for our tutorial. And what I've done is underneath that folder, I have created a separate folder called For Slideshow. And you can see that right here. Inside that folder, I've put the various pictures that I'm going to include in the photo story today. Now, photo story, when you browse for your pictures, allows you to click on a picture and then come down to the corner and click OK. And that works great. Uh, basically, if we do that here, it'll pull in the single one picture that I'm interested in. But the problem is, is that if I've got a whole bunch of pictures out there, that's a really cumbersome thing to do, to, to pull in just one at a time. So what I'm going to do is go back over here again to Import Pictures and click on it. It takes me right back to where I was, which is kind of handy and instead of clicking and clicking OK just on one thing at a time what I'm going to do is actually click on multiple files at the same time. Now this is a Windows thing. To do that I am pressing and holding down the control button on my keyboard, that key on either side of the spacebar that's labeled CTRL, that's the control key. As I hold down control what I then can do is I can go click, click, click click, and I've already got Jack Fountain there, and I can continue to click 
on whatever pictures I want to pull in. And you can see that as I click, each time I click, it highlights that picture. If I then let go of the control key, notice that these are all still highlighted here. So using the control key allows you to select multiple pictures at the same time. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be together. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to hold down click again and I can continue to click on these pictures. I'm actually going to pull every one of these in except for Jack Fountain which we already have and so I held down control and clicked the rest of them there. There we go. Got them all selected. We come down to the bottom of the screen and we click OK. Back at the main screen you'll see that your pictures come in in the form of a timeline. That's what we call this thing at the bottom. The timeline consists of tiny thumbnails of each of your pictures in the order that they will be displayed in your slideshow. Underneath you have a scroll bar if you need it. And then basically what you can do is you can move these back and forth to rearrange them in your, in your slideshow. To rearrange your pictures there's a couple ways you can do it. First of all, if you click on any particular picture on the, um, on, on the screen, it'll come up in a preview window. As you click other pictures on the timeline here, they'll come up in the preview window. Whenever a picture is selected here, you then can go to the arrow keys on the right hand side of the, of the timeline and using the back and forth arrow keys, we can move the slide back and forth into different positions on the slideshow. Another thing that's pretty easy to do is we can actually take a picture itself and we can drag it to a different position. And then simply by dropping it between two other slides, it will stay in that place. So you can either move these by clicking and dragging or you can use the arrow keys. And then finally, if you look over here on the side, you can see that if we want to actually delete a slide, we can click on it, then come over to our X button, click X, and it disappears from our show. Now one other thing that's very important to understand here. Um, when you are working on pictures inside of Photo Story 3, like we want to delete them, when we make changes to them, when we edit them and do different things like that, keep in mind that we are not changing the original picture. The picture that's sitting out on my computer inside the folder called For Slideshow is being unaffected by any changes we make here. So if you're working on some original pictures that you only have one copy of, uh, which of course you should always have backups of your pictures, but if you're working on pictures um, that are very important to you, don't worry because what you do in here will not affect those pictures. The only thing that will happen is those pictures will be affected for the slideshow itself in the slideshow program.